They went to the last Olympics. They didn't win a game. They finished 12th, I think, of 12. Um, I think they lost 5-0 to Argentina, 6-0 to Australia. And, and now here we are uh, five years later and they uh, pushed Argentina all the way in a, in a semi-final. So is this where international women's hockey's at? I know that they've had a lot of resources put into their program. Speaking to some uh, other people and even the former coach of India, I think they're not only improving on field, but it's the mental side of the game. They've got more resilience. They've got more belief. Um, physically, they're better. So, yeah, I'd be keen on uh, Adam and Jamie's view on is, is, is it, does it show how much a, a woman's, women's team can improve uh, currently where the international game is at? Adam's older. Adam's first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm only just older, really. Um, uh, yeah, look, I think there's a range of things there. Now, they, they run a, a pretty professional program. I think uh, Schurt and Yannicka, they obviously know what's required um, to be successful at a world level. I was speaking with Schurt the other day um, before their, their quarterfinal. And he, he spoke to me about uh, the need to get the girls physically fitter. And they've worked really hard on that. And I don't think there's any secret in the women's game. If you're able to improve the physical performance of your team, you can make great gains very quickly. And the greatest example of that in the last 10 years was, was the USA women's team who came 12th in London. And they turned up to the World Cup two years later after being taken over by Craig Parnham and, um, and the physical trainer, uh, Dave Hamilton, uh, they came over from the GB program and they came to the World Cup in 2014 and everybody was like, what has happened to this team? You know, they just were physical beasts. They came fourth. So they've gone from 12th to fourth in two years' time. They came fifth in Rio. They were disappointed with that result. They expected to, to win a medal, but they were physically just outstanding. And I'm not saying that... India has made any type of jump like that, but they have got a lot better physically. On top of that, remember in 2013 in Munch and Gladbach, that team won a bronze medal. Uh, the Indian team won a bronze medal at the Junior World Cup. So a lot of those girls have come through. So they have the belief that they're able to compete on a world stage. Now, maybe 2016 was a bit too early for them, and, and now they have a bit more maturity. Um, they're well coached by uh, Schurt and Yannicka and they're physically better. They have that uh, a bit of belief and, and, and I think that has really held them in good stead here. Rani was also injured in Rio and she's um, a pretty important member for their team. She's key. Yeah, she's key to success, uh, I think. And, and and when you look at the why George developed this group throughout the years, since 2017, so uh, remember back then in Johannesburg at World League, that was more like, it was more a rocky performance. So it was like, hmm, they were not, I would say they were not on the same track with coaching staff and players at that time. But then year by year, it became better and better. And at the Asian Games 2018, at the World Cup 2018, they've performed incredibly well. So we should not forget that they... They entertain yeah. the public at the World Cup in England uh, massively. And then they lost to Japan in the Asian Games final, I think with one or two goals done. So, but then you see the difference. Japan lost their coach, short stayed, and staying for that long in these kind of environments, that's a performance itself. That's uh, so dealing with all the things around hockey, like Adam said, and it's not only the administration, it's just a different culture. It's, they have several different languages. They have a completely different um, pathway program for players or don't have it. So let's say it. Um, uh, and then they added Yannicke to this uh, program. And I think this this mix of bringing bits of pieces together at the right time, a bit of grabbing the momentum, I think that was also something um, they were pretty good at. And I think the way they played Australia, the way they performed on pool stage without, I would say, going down the drain by losing to Holland, losing to the others, but still believe it for me, it's for me, it's a story of the Olympics for the last ages. It's a, uh, it's, it's close to let them grab a medal, let them grab a medal, and then it's close to when you talk about the 80s 
when Namibia won gold, uh, sorry, you have to talk about this because what I love most is it's the first time for long that a different nation is playing for a medal. That's super because it's always Holland, Argentina, Australia, sometimes it's Germany, sometimes it's New Zealand in the semis. Now it was, it was great to see how Adrian Locke developed the Spanish woman. So that was really cool. But India is on top of that, especially with knowing, I would say, the role of the woman in this culture. That's, it will give so much back to the, to the whole nation, having, <coughs> having these ladies on board. Super. Guys, yeah, I mean, you uh, meant, oh, sorry. I was just I gonna say, you mentioned about the um, continuity of shirts staying, and uh, then just threw out uh, with Addie Locke as well. Um, Adrian uh, has been with Spain for a while, and I think I'm a huge believer in continuity, um, whether it be in clubs, systems, in national team uh, systems. And, and with national teams, I, I think you, you also need to, if you want to look for long-term success, you need to have succession plans as well. So you can't just throw out a whole staff and get a new staff in and think that you can continue to grow. Because it takes about 18 months to, first of all, understand the group of players that you, you inherit, but also understand all your opponents. It just takes that long. And so you, you, you stagnate. In fact, you probably go a little bit behind if you change full staff. And, um, and I think that's what Spain and India have been able to continue that momentum uh, because of that continuity. So it was, I thought that was a good point.